here it comes back to the house again uh, about a $250 towing bill and uh, we'll see if we can figure out what's wrong with it today we're going to work on the fuel system and get my truck back on the road welcome to barn tech Okay, there's what's left of that bearing. Yeah, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but that sure looks like a crack to me going all the way across that bearing surface. This is the uh, Siemens K16 pump. You can see the crack is right here. It's almost all the way through. In fact, that's what almost happened with my truck hanging in the sky. As I pull the first couple of injectors, I already see a problem. It looks like these cheap O-rings tore last time I installed the injectors. Since I found metal shavings in the fuel system, I can't just replace the O-rings though. Let's pull these apart and look for damage. The first thing I've got to do is remove this crush washer. Next, I'm going to remove the nut that holds on the nozzle. I'm going to go ahead and work the nozzle back and forth a little bit and give it a little bit of persuasion with the soft metal. I heard it go down there. That's going to keep the little alignment pins inside the nozzle from breaking off whenever I pull this nut off. If I was just going to replace the nozzle, I would stop here, but since I found metal shavings in the fuel, I'm going to go ahead and tear it down the rest of the way and look for any other damage. Well, this little plunger here should have come out with the spacer. So the next thing is inside of the injector body, there's a little spring. So get that little spring out. And then there's a plunger. There's another plunger inside the injector body. I'm going to see if I can get that out without damaging it. Okay, this is a little spring cup. Make sure you don't lose that. Okay, next we're going to put it in the vise and we're going to get this electrical part off of the top of the injector. Want to see if we can get that little nipple out of there. There it went. That little nipple is what I was trying to get out. Now I want to see if I can get this little plunger out from inside of there. Okay. To remove this next piece, I'm going to have to make a special tool. Okay, if you don't have an end mill, you can order one of these from Red Hat, but uh, I thought I would just save some time and money and make my own. Alright, so this little shape here should fit perfectly onto a little nut inside there should be able to get this thing out Okay, I'm back at the workbench again for the last couple of little pieces. There's this little bitty nipple inside there. That nipple is sitting on a spring. 
and that spring is riding inside this last little piece. Okay, the last thing to pull off is this filter or the nozzle where the <coughs> fuel comes in. I suspect, since I didn't find any metal shavings inside the injector so far, that this filter caught all of the shavings that were coming to the injector. All the little parts in this injector remind me of a Bible verse I read the other day. Genesis 1.1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The Bible specifically says God did it, and then it goes into detail about how and when. On the sixth day, God created his most amazing masterpiece, humanity. The human body is amazingly complex, probably a million times more complicated than a truck, and each part depends on all the others for its very existence. It's just like each part in this injector has a job to do. If this spring was missing, the whole thing would be broken. If this plunger was too thick, it would get stuck. If it was too thin, it would leak and the injector wouldn't build enough pressure to fire. The injector performs a similar function as these chainsaw and motorcycle carburetors, but each one was designed for a specific purpose. None of them was an accident or coincidence. Well, I didn't find any metal shavings inside this injector, so I'm going to put it back together and test it. You can't see much difference in the injector patterns for idle or for full speed. Well, I've got my injectors back in. I've cycled the key about 10 times and I'm no longer hearing air bubbles. So let's turn the key and see what happens. This was when I reached the end of myself and I prayed to God for help. I believe that he led me to two websites and showed me things that I hadn't noticed before and now I know what I need to do to get this truck working again. Well if you guessed that the cab was coming back off, you win the prize. But this time I'm going to double up the center of the beam so it should be almost twice as strong. Here we are again. I need to get to this volume control valve 
So I'm going to pull this cover off and uh, see if I can get inside this and clean it up. I think I found the problem. I think I put this piece on upside down when I rebuilt the old pump. The way I had this before, like this, would actually pump backwards. So I have to flip it over to make it like this other pump. So now I know why my pump didn't work when I rebuilt it. I thought it was the volume control valve. I pulled apart the VCV and the PCV. Couldn't really find anything wrong with those and it just never would build pressure. Obviously now I know why, because I had the pump running backwards. Well, it's been a couple of days since I got the fuel pump put in there, got the truck put back together. So let's cold start it and go for a test drive. I'm gonna cheat for a little bit, let the glow plugs warm up. It's probably 35, 40 degrees outside right now. Here we go. Starts like a dream. Awesome. Let's go for a ride, see what she does. I don't know if you could read that boost gauge, but that was about 35 pounds of boost there on that last pull. Well, Lazarus lives again. It's been over a year since my truck broke down, and in that time, I've replaced a cracked crankshaft, a couple of bent piston rods, a couple of cracked pistons, and a high pressure fuel pump that wasn't making any pressure. But it's running great now, and I think it's time to send this project on down the road to the next guy. But if you've enjoyed my video, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can see what I'm working on next. God bless.